Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Python Gop Galan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, 35 years of age. He stands at 165 centimeters tall and weighs 118 pounds. He holds a record of 200 wins, 45 losses, and five draws. He is former Channel 7 Super Flyweight Champion and former Channel 7 Light Flyweight Champion and former Russian Light Stadium Super Flyweight Champion representing Upon Rajatadi Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for John Ho Go Suwanata! Opponent fighting of the blue corner, standing eight years of age. He stands at 165 centimeters tall and weighing 117.8 pounds. He a record of 23 wins and two losses. He is Spain national Muay Thai champion and the WKR world champion and the WCK world champion. Fighting out of Barcelona, Spain. Let's hear it for Explosive three three minute rounds at 118 pounds. Round number one. Definitely a lot of pressure on the shoulder of John Ho tonight. He needs this victory to stay in the game. Do you feel like if indeed I'm not gonna say that he does lose this fight, he does lose it badly but that could be it for him in his career. I don't think so, not no. necessarily. Of course, Arbo, up and coming, young superstar. Losing to Albert will be no disgrace for sure. John Hoda stated he likes fighters that fight like Albert, pushing forward. He says he will most likely be able to land his left hand, so we'll have to see. Of course, if this turns into a technical fight, John Hoda will have the advantage. Let's see how it plays out. Already you can see John Hart primed and ready with that left hand. Yeah, absolutely. Albert needs to stay close. John Hart, let's not forget, he had a career in professional boxing as well. Oh! Timing, technique, <laughs> class coming from John Hart. Albert losing his balance there. Ooh. Inside kick by John Hart. Ooh, and a big and fast left kick. It seems like Albert is comfortable going toe to toe with those hands. Those inside fly kicks win. He utilized well there from both fighters. John Hart pushing forward. You can see him when they come together. Albert naturally bigger than John Hart. Another good kick there by the legend, the veteran, the former Rajdamir Stadium champion. Left kick again, inside kick by John Hart. Albert perhaps waiting a little bit too much. You can't be waiting like this against a more experienced fighter. He knows he'll have the advantage on the fitness. We saw this in the first round, of course. Last time we saw Albert here against Nozilla. In fact, he did lose the first round before mm. he came back to knock Nozilla out in round number two. So he is a little bit of a slow starter. Which is not always what you want to be doing here in RWS. Only three rounds, every round matters. Drum hold in control right now. Yeah, looking for that left kick, but if he can't find it, he's happy to throw those low kicks instead. Mm. Once again, head on it with that left hand. Drum hold in control so far, even though Albert is the more aggressive out of the two. Again, and he's got the opportunity, it seems like he can't find his target. Drum hold getting out of the way Ooh, in the right hand. Connecting. Good left kick from John Hall. I'm also eager to see how his stamina is going to hold up as well. Now at this age, is he able to move around the ring as well as he once was? Is he able to maintain over the three rounds as well? Oh, 
big left elbow. What to be honest, I think if the fight keeps on going at this pace, this is the perfect pace for a jump hold. In control in the very first round, I would say a warm up round for the former champion jump hold. We have to see how the judges are going to score it. Of course, all the more aggressive out of the two, the jump can actually find and connect to his target. Because jump hold with this amount of experience, of course. Pretty much able to see everything. Now you said it, it's all about fitness level. Do you think level. in the back of his head, John Hod still thinks he could compete against someone like Nadaka, 115 pounds? I'm not sure. I think tonight we'll, we'll give him the answer. Yeah, it's a good test. Oh, much You better. see already, Albert. Yeah. Oh, and a big body yeah. shot there. This is exactly what we want to see from Albert. He needs to stay close to his target. He needs to be more aggressive. He can't be waiting like this against somebody like Jump Hope. We want to put the more experienced fighter in an uncomfortable position. Yeah, you've got to give it to Albert the way he's come out here round number two. Mm. Of course, his corner was unhappy with his performance in the first round. The worst thing that can happen that right now to John Hod is that he turns flat footed because he's going to have to move backwards. He's going to have to, have to be very evasive. Mm, and you're right. Oh, 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 did that connect? It looked I, like he did. I kicked. think he did. I think he did. Albert needs to stay focused, needs to stay in the game. And now he's got John Hod in the ropes. He needs to be active. Of course, easier said than done. You can see the small movement coming from John Hod. Getting out of the way, circling around. Perfect footwork so far. Now, is he gonna slow down? See, he's waiting for that left kick. Yeah. Attempted high kick. The majority of the shots that Albert has thrown have either been evaded or blocked by John Hod. Seems like there's respect. Just about to say, oh, big left hand. Yeah. After a left kick there from John Hod. Which is definitely not what Albert needs right now. John Hod rolling back the clock right now here on RWS against the bigger Albert Campos. Absolutely. It might not be the most entertaining right now. Of course, not an illegal shot. Yeah. The sport of Muay Thai. But as a sportsman, you usually give your opponent time. Ooh. Oh, I think that the left hook did connect though. Oh, beautiful combination. Once again, credit to Albert, mm. making John Hot think, making John Hot fight off the back foot. He's taking some big shots from John Hot, but he's very oh. still, connecting to the body. And it seems like John Hot is slowed down a little bit. Uh, yeah, Albert sure. needs to push forward, perhaps the best moment of the fight for him. You can see John Hot. Oh, and a body shot once again. Yeah, sure. Perhaps an opportunity for Albert. And his hands are down by his side, which is usually means that oh! big elbow. It usually means a fighter is starting to feel mm. those shots through the midsection. Yeah, and a round that could actually go in favor of Albert right now. Jump hold very defensive and much closer round than the first one, that's for sure. The ref asking Jump hold to fight back. Not really fighting back right now, but more trying to defend himself. Oh, well, what? I mean, the first half of that round, yeah. John Hodge seemed like he was in control, mm. but the second half, I feel that Albert Campos came back and he's definitely given the judges something to think about right now, Antoine. Yeah, you're absolutely right. A round that could definitely go in favor of Albert as well as John Hodge. Step their foot on the gas, and usually a clash happens. All right, let's see what happens here in round number three. But John Hodge, Two rounds up right now. Mm. Yeah, very interesting. How is this last and final round going to go? Of course, you can expect John Hurt to be defending himself mostly. Oh, big one high oh, kick! He's hurt! He's hurt! He spoke about the high kick! And now he connected last oh, round. And again. He's doing everything he's power to try to stay on his feet. He's jump on. But Albert Campos coming in now for the kill. Oh, and we said it, the fight is not over just yet. Albert, a slow starter. And now perhaps the opportunity to turn this fight around. Massive opportunity, not only to draw the fight with mm. a 10 to potentially drop John Hodge, but indeed finish it right now. Yeah, absolutely. Albert Campos. Yeah, and the ref oh. is going to give a warning. He needs to fight back, that's for sure. 
Carl Stolten will be a point deducted. Uh, he will most likely be holding, I guess, if he doesn't want to get a point deduction. Oh! oh my goodness! Where did that come from? I think he was holding the ropes. I'm not sure what happened. Leverage. Oh, and a good left kick now. Albert. This Hunt. is not what we were expecting in round number three. Yeah, absolutely oh, not. Back and forth action here in the last round. Jump up. Trying for a left kick. Albert going in with an elbow. Still just under two minutes to go in this round. Jump hold looking fresh. Left kick attempt to missing. Jump hold still in control so far even though he did get hit in the first seconds of the fight. I mean, that's a nightmare, isn't it, for someone? <laughs> to get hit with that kick mm. when you're trying to compose yourself and run down the clock. Absolutely. And, but what credit once again to Albert. <laughs> Albert's going to continue now. I don't think... Uh, he needs, he, yeah, he doesn't no need way. respect right now. He needs to stay focused, stay in the fight. 60 seconds remaining on the clock. Now the body shot. Oh, oh there from John Hood. He said it, John Hood turning back the clock. Now holding the experience, paying off from the Thai fighter. There will be a lot of fans, a lot of John Hood fans watching in Thailand right now. I'm quite indeed around the world, I'm sure. Mm. A little bit nervous at the moment. He's looking back in control now. It seems like he's over that initial head kick early on in the round. 30 seconds remaining, good left hook. Not enough power yet for Albert. Inside kick there from Albert. From what, not really fighting back. Yeah. I mean, the referee has warned him about moving backwards. Nice kick to the body there from Albert. I'm, I'm surprised the ref is not stepping in at all. Attempted cartwheel kick. I don't think that was necessary by Jomo, but he yeah. shaved some seconds off the clock. Absolutely, this is definitely why he's been doing oh. that. Well, that was tense in round number three, and just by the skin of his teeth, John Hod will get his hand raised here tonight. I mean, it was a very close round number two as well, Antoine. Yeah, absolutely. It was a very close round, back and forth action. Of course, early in the third round, that big head kick after the big left. Oh, oh. Here, here it was. Oh. Woo. Not sure how he was able to stay on his feet after that. Oh my goodness. Doing the chicken dance, as they say. Oh, and that elbow was massive. Elbow. I was going to say, Albert Campos did well to stay on his feet. Third left high kick there from Tom Horn. Woo. Big elbow there. That was in round number one. I mean, these two went back and forth throughout this three-round fight, but that was the biggest shot of the fight, that right high kick. A look of worry in the crowd as well. But Jomon, some way, somehow, stayed on his feet. And then a big left elbow to the chin. Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judge scorecard. The first judge scored is about 29 to 28. The second judge scored 30 to 27. And the last judge scored 30 to 27. Declaring your winner by way of United Bush decision.